Well, hello. Um, I didn't prepare a speech. So uh, hopefully you can forgive me because I got up at 3.30 this morning, drove in a blizzard to the airport. They had to de-ice the plane, and we were an hour late getting out of Great Falls. And then several airplanes later, I have arrived. <laughs> uh, but on the flight, um, I'm a teacher, and um, I just branded last weekend, and I just got my cows out to the bird tail. So it's been a little frantic to get here. Um, but on the plane down, I thought, well, okay, if I have to say something, I'm going to think about this a little. And I think the thing that my mom didn't talk about when she was inducted was perhaps that she had some kind of a great mother quality <laughs> that um, probably was not reflected in any of the stories because um <coughs> she had a very she was an only child um, and uh, she had two daughters, Barbara, my sister, and me, and then um, we married and um Russell is Barb's husband, and Leonard was my husband. And um, between the two of us, we had three grandchildren. <coughs> and uh, I don't think my mom and dad could have gotten into the Hall of Fame without that family. And uh, so it still had to be a quality of my mother to instill that love in us of the land and the livestock. And uh, my brother-in-law raced our horses and my sister ran barrels and um, then along came my husband who be was a bulldogger but when he hit the bird tail ranch uh, you couldn't sell a cowboy a colt. So he had to change and become a horse trainer and didn't know how to pick up a lead, so his wife taught him how to do that. <laughs> and uh, then he just kept working. And so between my sister and my brother-in-law and my husband and me, and then along came our three children who really showed the horses. Um, somehow, you know, um, I'm, a, I'm a teacher with kids who um, rode horses, and I get so many people asking me, how did you get your boys interested in horses? And I said, well, they didn't have a choice. You know, they just had to do horses. <laughs> so it was really, really a family affair that um, made our horses so great. And uh, uh, we have a picture of uh, Two-Eyed Fox, who was perhaps our best stallion. I don't know. We had some good ones. But it, it has about 20 horses lined up and all of the people at the horse show were all riding two white fox horses. So, um, you know, it, it was that family effort that uh, put that all together. What was that like? Growing up yes. on the Birdtail Ranch? We just grew up on horses mm -hmm. and it was just a part of our lives and we ran barrels and and did all of that stuff first. And then because, like I said, you can't sell a cowboy a colt, we became horse show people. So um, that's how that all evolved. And I don't know my, my children, my sister's children. It's just the land is so important to us. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you.